Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a slowed down time lapse of me working on an elephant for World Elephant Day that I auctioned off uh, this year. And this particular video is special because I wanted to show you how to achieve texture in your Yupo and ink paintings because I was able to gain some beautiful texture on this elephant and uh, I wanted you to see that slow down so that you could sort of watch it unfold. Um, right now I am layering my first layer of uh, color. I honestly, I have no idea which colors that I used on this. I know I used a little bit of Daler and Rowney FW inks and Payne's gray and black, a little bit of blue. I just mixed a few drops of some different colors into that palette that you see on the right hand side there and uh, just wanted to, I knew what color I wanted in my head and I just wanted to get that down on the paper. So I apologize for not being able to remember exactly which colors that I used. So um, I lay down my first wash of these colors and then I'm going back and I'm just trying to mimic the folds of the skin a little bit, the wrinkles of the skin, just so it appears more prominent. After I do this and let that dry, then I go back in and you'll see me working on the tusk. And to do that, I used alcohol ink. And I just uh, tapped my paintbrush to the tip of the alcohol ink and then just laid that right down on there. Now, I have to apologize because my camera ran out of memory and stopped working while I was stamping, while I was adding the texture. So I have to actually explain to you before I do it uh, what I did so that uh, you can understand the rest of the video. So I used an ink pad by Stamp Abilities and it had three different colors on it. It had silver, bronze, and gold. And I used a very soft, rubbery stamp that uh, looked like gauze. It looked like that that's what the stamp was, was uh, it mimicked gauze. So I just loaded up that stamp. I covered all the areas that I did not want the stamp to be on, and I carefully placed the loaded uh, stamp onto the paper. Now, once that dried, now you see me, I'm coming in with uh, various browns, and you can see that 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 ink from the ink pad is acting as a resist and all of the colors that I am adding right now these browns are settling into the spaces in between look how beautiful that looks it's completely random but it is achieving this beautiful texture to this elephant so I I had I have on the right hand side of the painting I have several swatches because I wasn't sure exactly what colors I wanted to use or if I wanted to add darker colors below then ink and then a wash of another color on top so I had to sort of experiment because I wanted the right color I wanted the uh, end result of this elephant to look like he had just taken a dust bath so those rich browns and reds that you you see on elephants in Africa so I'm going over again with more color um, as you can see, I work on sections at a time because I want one section to be drying while I'm working on another section so that the ink doesn't just pool together. Um, I'm using a little bit more of the darker grays here to mimic shadowing. The other beautiful thing about the Stamp Abilities ink pad and using this technique is that it gives a tooth to the Yupo paper so you can add Prismacolor on top. Uh, which you see I'm doing, uh, oh, nope, that's still a paintbrush. That will be coming up. Um, I use Prismacolor in black. I am able to use almost any color I want because it really gives tooth to the paper. And I love that. So you can use this as a mixed media technique, um, which I often do anyway. Um, because I just really like the look of mixed media. So I'm coming over with yet another layer. I'm just adding layers and layers on here and I go over with shadow. As you can see, I've got more shadow now. And then I will come back in and I will add the lighter colors of orange and yellow and uh, flesh color by uh, Daler and Rowney FW inks in flesh tone 
Love that because that's great for highlights. Um, so here I am just speeding up the process because I'm just doing more of the same, just layers and layers. And now you can really see that it's starting to come together with me adding these richer, warm tones. And all of these layers that I am adding, as each layer dries, then I add another layer, you can see that I'm not losing any of that texture. It just keeps building upon itself, which is just the greatest thing. So here I'm using the Prismacolor pencil. I'm tightening up those lines that I want to look realistic. And I'm adding here like a purple reddish color. You'll see around uh, the trunk area here in just a minute and how it really just warms up uh, the area and how much uh, tooth that that it gives the paper. Um, it, it's just, it's great to use. So I have, uh, if I haven't mentioned it before, I can't remember, I've been chatting so much, that um, I will post a link to the other video that shows the ink pad and the stamp in the comment section below, or in the, the description section, I guess, below, so that you can go to that video and you can actually see what they look like. So I apologize again that I don't have that here. Um, with the ear, I did not add any of the texture because I wanted the ear to look very smooth like an elephant's ear and I just added various yellows and oranges and the flesh tone, a little bit of brown, a little bit of gray, and then I let it dry. I used a hair dryer, which you can't see from the screen here, but um, just to help it dry a little bit quicker because I used a lot of water on here. So um, please try this technique. Let me know what you think. And um, if you have any questions that I did not answer, please feel free to leave them and I will get back to you as soon as I'm able. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that it encourages, encourages you to create some magnificent art and I would love to know what you do with it. So thanks a lot for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Bye.